guys. So what can you actually do with your NFTs? Um, why do they have to be tokens? What does this token thing mean? <laughs> um, we're going to be going through some examples of what these NFTs, not what they are, more like what can you actually do with these NFT tokens? Why people are buying them? And a lot of the question was, why the hell do I need an NFT token for an art piece when I can just screenshot it? So going through like a case for that, why um, that is, you know, why just screenshotting an image doesn't really mean anything and what an NFT token allows you to do across the blockchain world or, you know, just the world in general. So you can see this thread that I wrote, it kind of got pretty popular just because it went through like 25 use cases in the NFT space. And you can see, yeah, gaming, you can use them in games. You can use them as virtual reality land. Um, you can just use them as collectibles. And there's a bunch of different things you could do. I'm gonna go through some of the main use cases. But yeah, in virtual worlds, you can buy lands that you can build things on. So yes, you can go build stuff on your own, like on VR chat, etc. But in this, you people own different things. So they own the land, they own the names on their heads. Um, they, you know, at some, you know, these TV screens and video screens, it's going to be a marketplace where you can buy and sell this digital content as well. Um, you know, people have built soccer stadiums on their world, on the land. So there's all this stuff going on, uh, galleries on their land. Um, and, you, you know, we've streamed videos and games on our land. So people have used it to kind of meet up and stream and watch stuff. So you can do that. You can, with your digital token that represents this land you can even give people deploy permissions where if you're just a landowner you can you know people just may want to rent it from you or lease it from you give them those lease rights they may pay pay like 50 dollars a month and host a game on on your land etc etc so there's in that sense you know in terms of virtual land being represented by an nft token when you go into a project like Decentraland, it picks up that you own the NFT token that represents uh, coordinate 5065. And in that specific spot, when you deploy your content, that's where you're going to have um, your stuff. The whole concept of NFTs is to give people a representation or ownership um, that can be traded. So it's, sim it's, it's different, similar to like cryptocurrencies and blockchain where you have um, currency that can be traded in this case, it's going to be assets of different value, like, um, you know, land and names and stuff that can be traded. So again, on, on conferences and stuff like that, you can actually do what's called, you can make to uh, tickets as NFTs, which if you go into a popular conference, maybe the conference says, all right, we're locked to people that just have these NFTs that represent, um, such, you know, the tickets for this conference and the door only opens in something like Decentraland when you have that NFT token. So that's where the whole like blockchain and um, NFT and virtual world kind of connection comes from and comes to when that starts to happen. Now, um, you know, what we're seeing people do as well, we're also seeing people go to a project like Niftex and this is really cool. It's kind of like a currency exchange but for specific nft items so for example here axi almes if you want to call it that i think that's how you pronounce it but that's a really expensive axi and what they've done is they've sharded it or they've fractionalized it so people can own a fraction of it proof of attendance protocol so popes for example um, these are tokens that when you own them they're kind of like a badge or a token that represents that hey you went to this event so an event in the real world or the virtual world can say, all right, well, we're gonna have this special event today. And, um, you know, Genesis City Art Week. So this is the Pope for Genesis City Art Week, two out of 10, so day two. So if you collected all 10 of these, then you would be eligible for a special art piece that Shibu did, which is like the lead designer in Decentraland. And he gave that to people that collected all of these. So in that sense, you know, you can, like that, that token that you get that represents this Pope, um, proof of attendance protocol token you can do all kinds of things for the token so even if like the pope company they like okay for everyone that has gone to an event this year they can verify that by picking up that that nft lives in so this many people's wallets and airdrop them um you know a special ticket that gives them access to a conference or something um upcoming so we can do, you know, Popes, then we have Axie Infinity that I've gone from before that you can own these like little game items that you can take across universes. And, you know, they're represented as tokens because again, you can play them in the game and then you can um, upgrade them, etc., etc. They represent different axes 
And the whole concept of like tokens, especially is like, say for example, Axie Infinity um, opens up another game or even Gods Unchained, right? If Gods Unchained says, all right, we're gonna do a collaboration with Axie Infinity. You can buy our card packs only if you have Axie Infinity's um, tokens. So that'll you know, kind of filter that out. But you can see here with, um, with Gods Unchained, this is a really good website that shows you the rank of which, which cards are being used the most and also the prices that they've gone up in value as well the most so you can see um you know jason has gone is, is like one of the most popular cards in terms of the legendary genesis sets it's also like 0.19 ethereum this thing might be covering it i'm sorry but um you know you have total control over your card you can buy and sell it not only in gods unchained but you can take it to a place like decentraland put it on the wall sell it there you can't do that directly um on eBay, right? You can do it. You can put a link to eBay, or you, but you can't have it integrated within like a virtual world like that, especially not like something that's smart contract integrated. So in that sense, just an example of what an F NFT is and why we have them as tokens is because you can take them across these worlds. And we've got this concept of interoperability where if another project opens up, they can say, hey, we're going to recognize your token and give it X value in the sense of, you know, you may have a card in Gods Unchained, but in our game, your card is a pet. So this is something that Engine do pretty well. They they like developers kind of have different use cases for the token. So maybe one's making like a fighting game, maybe one's making a MMO, and the same tokens have different value based on where you go.